We're investigating materials that dissolve in waters and materials that do not dissolve in waters. We're also looking at the conditions that affect the process of dissolving. And one of those conditions is particle size. Now I want to stop and just talk about particle size for a moment. In front of me, we're going to be investigating today using sugar cubes and regular table sugar. And I want to talk about particle size. Now a particle of something is just a piece of something. Um, if I have this sugar cube in my hand and a piece of sugar falls off into my hand, which you can't see because you're too far away, but those pieces of sugar, now you can see it because I have a pile of sugar in my hand, these are individual particles of sugar. And I'm going to drop those into that cup because that's what we're investigating. Particles are just pieces of something bigger. Same material, just a piece of it. In the cup on, on this side, I'm going to put one sugar cube. And on this side, I'm going to add powdered sugar, table sugar, to the cup. Make sure they're about the same amount. And then I'm going to fill each cup with water. What I'm investigating is whether one of these dissolves faster than the other. Will table sugar with a smaller particle size dissolve quicker than a cube of sugar with a larger particle size? So let's go ahead and add our water to that. I'll fill those about two thirds of the way full. And now we just sit and wait. I'm not going to stir. I'm not going to shake. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just watching sugar dissolving in water. We'll give that a couple of minutes to do what it needs to do so that we can see it and make our observations. Now at the beginning, I can tell that the table sugar is dissolving because there's a lot fewer particles in there than there were when I started. The sugar cube is actually melting apart. It's breaking apart and the particles of sugar, the pieces of sugar are falling to the bottom. That's actually kind of cool to watch. Same amount of sugar, same amount of water. The water's just tap water at room temperature, not warm water, not cold water, just room temperature water. And I'm not stirring, I'm not shaking, I'm not doing anything else to it to make those particles of sugar dissolve any quicker or slower. I'm just watching them dissolve. All right, let's give them a minute. So the sugar has been dissolving now for a couple of minutes and the sugar cube has completely broken apart. It's no longer a cube. It's a pile of sugar on the bottom of the cup. The table sugar that I poured in earlier is almost completely gone. There's still a few particles, but now that the cube has broken apart into the individual particles, the sugar from the cube is starting to catch up. So in this case, particle size did make a difference. The smaller particles of the table sugar dissolved faster than the larger piece of sugar cube. But once the sugar cube itself started to dissolve and break apart, then it's catching up to the table sugar, the regular uh, ground sugar there. You're going to be investigating whether particle size affects the process of dissolving with table salt, coarse salt, and rock salt today. And remember, we're saying that a particle is just a smaller piece of something larger.